so with that, it's uh, my privilege now to announce to you that the panel has found your PhD work satisfactory to the award. So your work is declared passed with minor corrections that will be submitted to you. And we have nominated an internal examiner, Professor Anne Katavari, who will see who will oversee the comments that you have made. So you get these comments within two weeks, then you have up to four weeks to work on it for submission. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> yes. So you want to say something? You're welcome to. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank Makerere University and uh, uh, my supervisors for, uh, especially for Nelson, for giving me this opportunity uh, for to study a PhD program. It was not something in my mind at the beginning of the process, and. Uh, it came and I had to figure out how to, uh, you know, address the language issue and also start learning a new, a new process. And uh, I'm really happy for being able to achieve this kind of hard work and also have a great support from, from all the staff here and the course students. So thank you so much. I must say that the panel was very impressed and said that you are very courageous to take on this task in an English speaking PhD coming from a French background and they applauded you for this. So thank you very much. So on behalf of your supervisors, I will invite Professor Samuel to represent them. Say something. Well, uh, a word of congratulations to Zida, he has worked extremely hard to make this happen. And what is interesting, uh, as the uh, colleague here knows, there are a group of five PhD candidates <laughs> who, are, who took on the task with PhD in this area of translation. Uh, uh, he came on last. Is it? Or second last. And he has finished the task. Yeah. First language problem. And as you say, he was very courageous, not only because of language, but also he came from he was a, a number person, as he told him, working with numbers, working, crunching numbers, and yet he started operating. And in addition, his home base was not an academic institution. His home base was uh, ministry, so an academic place. Combining all those, I think there was a risk for him taking on this. But there's someone else who took him in a greater risk, and that is probably myself. <laughs> <laughs> because to accept that with all those risks around him, he should be accepted to take on this PhD uh, under the sponsorship of IDRC. It was not a small task. But I had confidence in him because even through the translation in those early days to understand him, uh, so you saw that there was something interesting behind this man and that he would successfully through. So I'm delighted that you pulled through. I'm sure the other supervisors uh, will be extremely uh, delighted to hear it. It's a pity that uh, uh, one of the examiners, I don't know what happened to find him. He was online and then what happened? Yeah, he's killed. He's not in the process. But he didn't uh, have an opportunity to participate. Finally, to thank the examiners for uh, having participated in the program. 
So thank you very much again for bringing this to conclusion and thank you all for coming to attend and celebrate with him and again and again we continue to thank our examiners and the opponent. It's not an easy task to accept to read a PhD book and be up for your examination. So we are forever grateful. When we come to you, send your email. No, please don't hesitate to receive us. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we bring this to one. Uh, one other one. I forgot to thank the fellow PhD candidates that he is working with. They have been a very cohesive group and support each other, and I think they have supported them tremendously. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.